What's up guys and welcome back to the Super Cooper channel. Today we are back and we have an update for you all on this girl right here who is currently climbing all over Chelsea. What's up Miss Bella? How are you doing? So you guys know the past couple of weeks of Super Cooper Sunday have been focused on Bella. She was randomly dropped off on our front porch a couple weeks ago and uh, it's it's been pretty crazy ever since. So we wanted to give you guys a little update. This week I believe we have Lake Eola. We're taking the boys to Lake Eola. It's gonna be crazy. We're doing this like pause in the park type event. It's gonna be a really fun episode, but you won't see much of Bella. So we wanted to give you guys a little kind of like update here because she is definitely starting to get along better. You guys can see, look at this right here. She's not even swatting at Cooper. They have been getting along really, really well. Check out this video we took yesterday morning when we were upstairs in bed. So yeah, you could say they're starting to get along a little bit better. Coda is still kind of indifferent. Wouldn't you say, Chels? I mean, he's just kind of indifferent about everything. Yeah. Like some days he's involved, other days he's not. He doesn't dislike her. She doesn't dislike him. They don't really interact. Cooper is more the one that kind of tries to get in her face and play with her and stuff like that. But overall, she's definitely a lot more bold. So the other morning, I followed her around with the camera for a little bit just to show you guys, like she is super adventurous now. She runs all over the house. She runs this place. You guys can see she's <laughs> she's currently hunting Chelsea. That's That's the second update we have for you guys. But yeah, check out how bold she's gotten. Now, if you guys remember, when she first came here, she would only stay underneath this table. That's like all she wanted to do. She would hide and, and kind of slink in between the legs and stuff. But now, where'd she go? She's too quick. There she is right there. What's up, girl? She runs all around the house, messes with the boys, and more importantly, she hunts us. So obviously, she has those instincts from hundreds of thousands of years. And if you just happen to walk by, Sometimes, out of nowhere, she will come running and attack you. Oh, you're getting attacked. You're oh, get, you're get, oh, she's running. Oh, 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 there, she got you. Oh, she got you. <laughs> she just like ambushes you and then runs back away. Yeah, and like sometimes, like like right now, obviously we're playing with her and we understand it's happening, but sometimes like you'll be walking by to go sit down on the couch and she'll come tearing out of here and attack your foot. Or I'll be walking into my office and she really likes the office closet over there and she'll just come tearing at you and like run and latch onto your leg and then jump off and run away like you're yeah. a springboard. And what's really funny Look, here is- Here she comes again. And then she tries to run out. She's funny? a panther. But then the funny thing is, she hides in the closet and she hides under the ottoman, which are normal hiding spots. But then the other big hiding spot is just on top of the turtle. On the turtle. She will literally sit on top of this. You'll just be casually walking by. There'll be a cat right here on top of the turtle and she'll just run and jump at you. So it's kind of crazy, but that's just a game she likes to play, I guess. Now, something that we learned that she could do when our friends were over. We were chilling here playing a board game and Chelsea gasped like I haven't heard her gasp before. And Bella was full on running up the stairs. She has no fear. She's already conquered it. She's like nine weeks, 10 weeks old. Coda, you're five years old and you haven't done this yet. Should we go show them? So when it first happened, like a week or a week and a half ago, we were freaking out. Like I was down here, like ready to catch her, like trying to get underneath her and stuff like that. She actually took a little tumble down the stairs once. I think she fell down like eight stairs or so. Not like to the ground, but like tumbled down the stairs. But she was all right, she's a cat. It's been like a week and a half or so since she learned to do it now and she's she's pretty good at it. So we'll, we'll see if she does it. Come on, baby. Bella. Bella, come on. Let's go. You got it. Come on. She 
tears up the stairs when she's by herself. She skips like a couple, a couple steps at a time. Bella. Here she comes, good girl. That's a lot of stairs for a little one like you, but uh, she, she likes to come up here. Now, when I'm downstairs working, Chelsea is oftentimes up here. We're trying to get her office organized. It's kind of like the fan mail and the mail home base and everything. It's been a wreck for a while. I actually think we might turn this into a home gym here soon, but uh, we were in here the other morning and she was going absolutely nuts. So this is an example of what her and Cooper get up to while I'm downstairs at work and Chelsea's up here every day. I feel like you could write like a whole cartoon about these two with all the, the crazy hijinks and shenanigans they get into. Anyway, while we're up here, we've got one more thing we want to mention to you guys that we recently found out about that Bella really, really likes, and that is cuddling in the bed. She loves it. So there are a couple of things that cause her to immediately purr. Number one, when you take her out of like the cat carrier thing. Number two, when she's on her suckle blanket, which you guys know from the actual Super Cooper Sundays. The third is if you pick her up and you bring her to the bed and you like lay on it and cuddle with her, she absolutely loves it. I don't know what it is, but she really enjoys it and Coop does too, obviously. Look at this. She instantly turns all cuddly. It gets rid of all the kitten crazies and she just, she likes to hang out. She likes to play with Coop a little yeah. bit, wrestle with his tail, but overall she turns into a little softy which is really, really cute. She's purring right now. Yesterday, we were getting ready for a date night. Yeah. We were both up here. They were playing and she took off running up and she got all the way up on top of the headboard and she was just chilling up here. Looking at her kingdom. Yeah, she's, she's pretty crazy. But look at this. This is the thing that makes me the happiest right here is that they are perfectly fine with each other. I don't think she ever disliked Cooper. I just think she was a little worried about the crazy ball of fluff that he was. And he had to figure out how she plays. Right. He no longer tries to boop her really hard and bring her toys to play tug of war. He more kind of understands how to play. Coop, you're getting hunted. You're getting hunted right now. Watch out. Oh, she got him. But yeah, seriously. I mean, I, I don't think she ever actually disliked him. It was never like she was swiping at him like with intent to hurt him. I think she was just trying to figure out her and his place and the, the pack I guess you could say but overall I mean they just they get along like they they tolerate each other they play together sometimes we're still working on it but it's 10 times better than what you guys saw in that last episode of Super Cooper probably the biggest thing we need to to kind of get around the biggest hurdle we have is Cooper just doesn't understand how kittens play and he's starting yeah. to get it better he's sometimes a little too aggressive a little too like play fighty and not you know that the kittens don't really like that look at her she's just chilling right now but I mean, show, show the world what we have here. We have a dog that likes cat toys now. For a while, he could not understand what this game was, but he finally gets this game and he wants to try to catch the bird on the end of the string. <laughs> and then he gets so, a slobbery. So cute. Look at, look at Bella back there. She's just like, what is this? Why are you doing this? So anyway, guys, I think that's pretty much it. That's a, a little update after another week of Bella and our lives. She's been very, very sweet. She is still just as soft-tempered and nice and good with people as she always has been. And she's, I would say, starting to fit into the family better. What would you say, Chels? Yeah. I don't know if that's something I want to admit here on camera for her to hold it. For her to hold against me until the end of time. Bella, where are you going right now? She's, she's taking herself back upstairs. She, she runs the place. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Little update video here on the second channel. I think we're gonna start uploading here a lot more. So let us know the kinds of things you guys wanna see and uh, we'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you on Sunday. Peace out. So I was just editing this video and here's my friend just hanging out. This is what she does almost every day. She likes to sit right here above my keyboard. So every day, this is my battle station. This is where I edit, this is where I record, where I do everything. And she just likes to stay right here.
Bella, you're a too cute girl. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed.